Hello boys and girls, it's your horror meister, Money G here. This is going to be my first review in the year 2017 and we're going to talk about Underworld Blood Wars. Now Underworld Blood Wars is the fifth film of the Underworld franchises. This has been going on since 2003 Now I actually like the Underworld series. I thought it was an interesting take of the vampire, werewolf, supernatural creatures and not just supernatural creatures there are actually more than that they were changed by due to a genetic uh, makeup from their ancestor Venus Cornus and I actually enjoyed them it, it was an interesting take me you know be me not just horror fans but also being in love with vampires and werewolves and all that other jazz like that but it was pretty interesting now um, this takes this show this movie takes place uh, right after Underworld ends the main character, Celine, played by uh, Kate Beckinsale, being chased by both the vampire and Lycan clans. Uh, the vampire is one of four what she did to uh, Victor and Marcus in the series. And the Lycan clan, they want her because they want her blood. Everybody wants Celine. Everyone's after Celine. And, uh, it basically, it's it's okay film. You know, it's, it's more of the same. It, it's nice. Fight scenes are okay. It's basically more of the same. It's entertaining, but I think the series itself is getting a bit stagnant. I thought for maybe in Awakening they might actually when they decide to bring in the humans involved they might go in that direction but it appears as though they're still stuck in this rut that they've been in since the third film. Third film and I thought maybe they might have a change in that but it's not saying that it's not entertaining it's it's okay it's just like there's nothing that we haven't seen before. I know there's still uh, other vampires conspiring with other vampires because they want more, they want more power and the lichens, you know, the lichens want because they want to rule. They want to rule. They want to finally end this war. And uh, but basically, it's it's an okay film. You know, really nothing that we haven't seen before in this series. Nothing really fascinating other than that. You know, we had some good fight scenes. A little nice gore. Uh, not as much as good as the first two. You know, and that's basically it. There's really nothing else. Film was directed by a new director. Her name was Anna Forrester, if I got my notes here correctly. And uh, Kate Beckinsale, Leo James, and there's a new one. I mean, Kate Beckinsale, Leo James, and Charles Dance they all come back in this one. But poor Charles Dance, he's sort of used, he's sort of made useless in this in this particular film. And we have a new one, uh, Laura Prover. You know, she has a nice few good scenes that he does a pretty good job in. But it's just all part of the what the writers come up with. It looks like the writers really don't know what they want to do in this series and uh, I'm pretty sure the film will make its money because it's it has an instant fan base and I'm pretty sure it'll make the money that they believe it's going to make and then they'll probably have another film and maybe we don't know maybe they might decide to finally go in another direction but all in all what are you going to do? Uh, I believe that you know my, my uh, scale on this is going to be probably 5.5 .5 out of 10 well, this is Money G. Lamont Smith, the Horror Meister, and I'll say it again, Horror Rules.